Yeah, my camera packed up the other day and I, uh, I thought it was completely broken but I think it was uh, when I plugged the, the charging cable in that the, uh, the power was on already before when I plugged it in and I think that screwed up the software a little bit one way or the other I've done something to the software but, um, I downloaded the firmware for the camera reinstalled it and now it seems like the old camera's working again so, Hopefully it's recording the uh, audio this time and the picture should have sorted itself out. I'll give it a quick test before I come out and it seems to be uh, working so... Yeah, it's been quite a quite eventful week really. I've done an oil change in this, uh, in this Triumph last week. I used some uh, silkaline mineral oil, I put that in there. The reason I changed the, uh, uh, it was due for an old change anyway, but the old uh, oil light was sort of like flickering on every now and then. So I thought maybe the oil's a bit thin, so I uh, changed the oil. And after I changed the oil, within uh, a few miles the oil light come on, it stayed on. So I thought maybe there was a bit of sludge in the, uh, uh, where I changed the, uh, where I cleaned up the, the uh, strainer out in the uh, frame, I thought maybe a bit of sludge had gone down the pipe or something. So I drained all the oil off again, checked all that out, took the, uh, took the pipe off the bottom, took the casing, the side casing off, and uh, checked all that out. And uh, as I was looking at the side casing, I noticed the seal. There's uh, uh, that oil seal that goes into the end of the crank. That had a rip in it and the, uh, the spring was just hanging in the back so the oil seal had gone it had got a, it had got a, uh, a split in it one way or the other so uh, once I replaced that I cleaned up all the tubes took the oil pump off cleaned that off cleaned it out cleaned everything out put it all back together again and on the first kick there's enough oil pressure in there to put the light out before the bike was even started so it was all down to that, uh, that oil seal. Well, I did notice though as well when I, uh, when I took that oil seal out and compared it to a new one which I bought, the, the one that come off, the, the size of the hole in the seal was a little bit bigger than the one I put on. So whether it was a, a dodgy seal to start with, I don't know. But now anyway, it's all, uh, it's all working hunky-dory now. So a simple five minute oil change turned into like a, a few days of fault finding. I've got my new camera coming tomorrow, the, uh, the, the, the new one that I bought. Uh, I'll replace that, uh, I'll replace that over and probably leave it for now on this one and we'll switch over to the new camera and uh, I'll see you in a minute right, so now we're, uh, we're back on the uh, new camera. This is the center prison tube with the Wi-Fi. I might have to adjust the, uh, the field of view. I'm not sure if the field of view is right. It didn't look right on the uh, phone when I just had a look at it. So I might have to narrow that up a bit. Quite, quite a lot too far away. <laughs> I'm not sure. I have to 
see when I get back and see what it looks like. But if it's uh, if it's too wide, I'll have to just narrow it a bit, really. And today, you know, I'm on the XJ750, because today, the 1st of April 2022, it's his birthday. And uh, today, the bike was made historic vehicle, along with the uh, green excess that I've got. So now I've got um, five out of the six, so far, which are historic. Just got to get the other one insured, really. And and uh, make that historic as well. So I put a, uh, this, this bike could originally come from Japan and uh, I've only just changed the speed over to one with miles an hour on it and not kilometers. So this, let's go up the lanes I think. I haven't ridden this bike for quite a lot, quite a while really. It feels really weird, I mean it's really, super smooth after riding the twins all the time and, uh, I mean uh, the last time I messed around with this bike uh, I changed to the uh, clutch basket and everything in it and I haven't even taken it out since then and cleaned the carbs up and got it running the other month and you know again I never took it out after I've done all that so this is the uh, first time it's been out since I've done all the work on it Revs a little bit higher, so I need to turn them down a little bit. Sort of ticking over at 2000. It's a two minute job. So we'll do that. We'll do that in a minute. We'll pull over and we'll just find somewhere to pull over and I'll just slow them down. It's a bit nippy today. It looks like a nice day, but it's kind of freezing. It's only like 10 degrees or something. I thought I'd, I'd take it out today because the uh, weather forecast for the rest of the week looks like rain all week. I'll tell you something, the, um, when I, I rejetted these carbs with the original jets that were in it from uh, Japan, which are a little bit smaller than um, the main jets, are a little, a little bit smaller couple smaller than the one I had in it already. So, you know, already I can feel that this bike's got loads of pull in it. Let me just stop here for a, a second and then I can just slow that tick over down a bit because that's going to bug me no end otherwise. The front brake's much to be desired. It's a bit... Uh, it's a bit. Oh, well, get that to a thousand. That do. <laughs> right. And glasses are steaming up. Can't see where I'm going. Um, we've done another song, it's only like a couple of minutes long, so I, as I'm riding through the lanes, it's sort of like another a mad sort of like driving song, so I'll play that for a couple of minutes and then we're uh, and then we come back to the bike.
problem with this speedo, it's making a, a right rail, so, so I might have to um, put a uh, rear wheel into the original one back on. It sounds like it's got dry bearings in this speedo, and that error uh, do my head in listening to that. And you're going slowly, it's all like noise coming out of it. So, yeah, this bike's going to treat apart from that, apart from the old dodgy speedo. If I go slow, maybe you can hear it. Going faster, I near it. Yeah, so anyway, uh, I have to get the, uh, the green excess out next time. But that's for uh, that's for this bike. I need to sort my front brake out a bit, or wear them in a bit, because it. Feels like I've got new pads in it. Oh, it's really windy as well. It's that bitterly cold, icy wind. The inside of my legs are freezing because so the, uh, the fuel in the tank is probably like about two degrees. <laughs> yeah, so I'm, uh, when I paint this. Paint it back to original. Uh, might even stick some rubber pads on it or something. Yeah, so XJ750. Not a bad bike, really. Well, anyway, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll uh, catch you on the next video.